Okay, we're going to look at an application of a rational function. In this case, it's going to be a linear divided by linear type of rational function, a linear expression over linear expression. And we've learned to analyze these. Okay, so we've got a big old tank here, big container. Initially, we've got five gallons of salt and 100 gallons of water. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, then we're adding water at 10 gallons per hour. We're adding salt at one pound per hour. Question is, what's the concentration after 10, 20, and 30 hours? Now, what do I mean by concentration? Well, the initial concentration, we have five gallons of salt and 100 gallons of water. The concentration is how much salt we have per gallon. We divide the number of pounds of salt by the number of gallons, and we get the initial concentration. Initially, we have five pounds and 100 gallons, so we have 0.05 pounds per gallon. Okay. So anytime we want to get the concentration, it's the number of pounds of salt divided by number of gallons of water. Okay, so let's just figure it out. Okay, after 10 hours, what's the concentration? Okay, well, in 10 hours, think about this for a minute. You know, just stop and think it through. It's pretty obvious how we get this, although if you don't get it, don't feel bad. Um, stop for a minute and think. Stop for 10 minutes and think. What's, how are we going to get the concentration after 10 hours, after 20 hours, and after 30 hours? Okay? Well, after 10 hours, so hopefully you've thought about it, after 10 hours, well, you've had 10 hours for water to flow in. How much water will have flowed in? Multiply 10 hours by 10 gallons over hours. 10 gallons per hour, you've got 100 gallons. And what? One pound per hour, 10 hours times one pound per hour equals 10 pounds of salt. We added. Okay? Now that should be obvious, okay? If you just think about the situation, if water's flowing in at 10 gallons per hour, then in 10 hours, you're going to get 100 gallons. And in, if salt's flowing in at one pound per hour, you're going to get 10 pounds of salt. Okay, so now what are we going to have after 10 hours? Okay? Here's what we start with. What do we end up with? We started with 100 gallons of water. And five pounds of salt. So we'll have the 100 gallons of water. We, 100 gallons we started with and the 100 gallons we added. And the 5 pounds of salt we started with
well, it's going to be 15 pounds of salt. Well, that's going to be 200 gallons of water and 15 pounds of salt. The concentration will be Fifteen pounds over two hundred gallons which is about point one five to point oh seven five pounds per gallon. So it's a fairly easy analysis. Now, after 20 hours, we will have added from the beginning 200 gallons. five pounds plus 20 hours times one pound per hour many pounds of salt concentration will be what? I'm going to write this out just a little differently than I did before. Stop gallons in the numerator. Not a solute in the numerator. Okay. So I'm going to write it as 5 pounds plus 20 pounds. What we started with plus what's been added since we started. What we started with plus what's been added since we started. That's going to be 25 pounds over 300 gallons. That's going to be 0.0833 repeating. Okay. After 30 hours, I'm not going to go through all the reasoning. Concentration is going to be what we started with plus what's been added over what we started with plus what's been added. I'm going to write that as the initial salt plus the added salt divided by initial water plus added water. That equals five pounds plus thirty hours multiplied by one pound per hour, which of course will be thirty pounds, but we're trying to 
get a handle on just what all these numbers mean and what the source is. Okay, over a hundred gallons plus 30 hours times Ten gallons per hour. A little hard to write down here, but you understand what I'm writing. Okay. And of course that's going to be 30 times 30 hours times one pound per hour is 30 pounds. Add that to five pounds, it's going to be 35 pounds. 30 hours times 10 gallons per hour is 300 gallons per hour. We add that to the hundred, we get 400. gallons per hour. So that equals eight, sorry, not eight, point zero eight seven five. Okay, so we see that we started with a concentration of 0 0.05 pounds per gallon, went up to concentration of 0.075 pounds per gallon, that went up to 0 0.0833, repeating, pounds per, uh, pounds per gallon, and I should have put the, no, actually, yeah. And then up a little bit more to 0 0.0875. If you look at these numbers, we see the concentration is increasing more and more slowly then. So, we can ask ourselves, is there going to be some limited concentration? Is it going to stop? Or is it going to approach some limit? Uh, what's going to go on? Okay. Well, now we want to go a step further, and we want to now figure out the concentration at time t. So now, concentration at time t in hours. So that's the next thing we're going to look at. So you might want to think this through. How are you going to get the concentration as a function of time t?